So today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm super excited about. Eugenia Clooney, should she be banned from YouTube? Let's talk about it. What's up guys? Now, I'm sure many of you guys have heard of this Eugenia Clooney girl. She is a makeup YouTuber who really is famous for not makeup. She's famous because she stars herself on her channel for everybody to see live. Now, I don't know about you, but this isn't exactly the type of clout that I think is good for the YouTube brand. So in my opinion, I feel like YouTube needs to step in and do something. But this one, I had no idea was gonna be a thing. I know I could say this all the live long day, but at some point we have to take ethics into consideration here. It's not as clean cut as you think it might be. You see, with YouTube stepping in and telling Eugenia that she can't post anymore, we're crossing a line that I'm not sure we want to go over. This is not a message that we want to be sending to our young women. You guys, her skin is amazing in person. Thank you, Jeffrey. It feels so soft. Yeah, they've always like telling me like, oh, look, she's looking so bad. It's like... <laughs> Uh, must be a self-reflection. In a world where clout is king, and trust me, it is, just look at TikTok, you have a billion people on there all fighting for attention. YouTube isn't that much far different. But overall, the messaging is where my biggest problem is with Eugenia. Because she is suggesting to young girls, whether she means to or not, that if you do something dramatic like this, starve yourself, you will be given views. Um, and I think it's so cool. And you will be given subscribers. It's just weird. It's just weird how like, you know, I'll just be having an amazing time. Whether or not those subscribers like you doesn't seem to matter to her. If it's hard to watch, you can leave. Exactly. To her, it's just a matter of how many views can you get? How much money can you get? How much ad revenue can you bring in through killing yourself. And that is not okay in my book. At some point, YouTube needs to decide that the branding for their company, their billion dollar company, matters more than acting like you're accepting of everybody. My biggest problem here is that as a father, right, I have a nine-year-old daughter. My nine-year-old daughter loves YouTube. It's literally the only thing that she watches. Say when she gets to about 12 or 13 years old, she decides she's gonna start wearing makeup. So she's gonna go try to find makeup YouTubers and people who can talk about makeup and how to do it better so that she can look better when she goes out with her friends. My biggest fear is she comes across someone like Eugenia and looks at her and thinks to herself, look how much attention this girl's getting and look how skinny she is. Um, and I think it's so cool. This must be what is right. Clearly that is not the case, right? There's something seriously wrong with Eugenia. I don't know whether it's bulimia or anorexia. I'm not a doctor. I'm not gonna go into that and, and try to break down what's going on with her. But the people around her are not clearly not helping enough. Now I was a drug addict for years. I've not been shy about that on my channel. And when I was a drug addict, I was always looking for that next high, right? That's pretty much the main thing I woke up for. I woke up to get high. I went to sleep waiting to get high when I wake up. It was a whole big repetitive process. Now, I also understand. I had one video that got over 20,000 views. It's the first time I've ever got any kind of attention on YouTube, and it was really exciting for me. That dopamine hit I got from watching them views roll up was exactly the same dopamine hit that I got when I was doing drugs. Now, you have to understand something. When an addict has their mind made up that they are going to do whatever it takes to get that next hit, they will do whatever it takes to get that next hit, which is a big problem in Eugenia's case because she is seeing all the attention she's getting, whether it's positive attention or not, about the way she looks. And I'm sure watching them view counts instantly hits her with that dopamine hit. I'm sure being a huge social media person is very important to someone like her. And then people just like wanting to try to make things into something they're not, it's like, why? Yeah, we've been having the most amazing time, guys. So I'm just kind of like, at this point, it's like, whatever some of you guys want to say in the chat or try to make negative, it's like, I know it's not the truth, guys. So it's like... It also, scarily, reinforces the behavior that she has for herself. She has two millions of people basically telling her, you do you, girl. It doesn't matter what happens to you because even if half of her subscribers are telling her that there's something wrong with her and she needs help and she needs to get away from people like Jeffree Star, the fact that people are still subscribing to her, commenting and watching her videos 
is all the reinforcement that she needs to keep doing what she's doing. Jeffree Star, who is one of her best friends from what appears to be like on her streams, is probably her biggest supporter. So it would suggest to me that Jeffree Star is interested in being around Eugenia, possibly for financial gain, possibly for clout. We don't know these things. I'm not Jeffree Star, thank God. But also, people don't always have the best intentions. We know this, all right? This is just life lesson number one. But her parents apparently love Jeffree Star and think it's good for her to be around him. However, if Jeffree Star is not in her ear 24-7 being like, Hun, you need to eat something. Hun, you need to eat something. He is not a good friend. If he's telling her that what she's doing is good and to just do her, girl. Do you, girl. Not good. That's not good. We don't want that, right? Because Eugenia is slowly withering away to nothingness. She looks like Jack Skellington. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Nightmare Before Christmas just like the next guy. But nobody wants to be Jack Skellington. The guy got no meat on his bones at all. He's a Skellington, right? He's a Skellington. A skeleton. Sorry, I was getting I was getting excited there for a second. But now I'm getting off track talking about Nightmare Before Christmas. Also, happy Halloween, everybody. This is a fun time of year. I'll tell you another story that's crazy, but it has absolutely nothing to do with this. But I'm not going to interrupt my video to talk about that now. That'll be a future video for you guys. A little in-depth EG Lately documentary, if you get what I'm saying. But anyway, going back to Eugenia Clooney, right? My case for why she needs to be taken off YouTube. YouTube needs to look into what creators are doing for clout and whether or not it represents their brand well. All right, they already have the thing going on with Sniper Wolf and Jack's Films. They said both parties need to do better. First off, Jax Film is, is fighting for creators everywhere. SS Sniper Wolf, as hot as she is, I'll give her credit, that babe is so smoking. She steals everybody's content. I mean, her YouTube videos, if you literally look at them, it's just theft, 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 theft. So YouTube's already got that on their hands to deal with. Now you add in Eugenia Clooney, right? A girl who's literally starving herself to death with clout. Starving her, well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, she's starving herself to death with clout. Nikocado Avocado, who is eating himself to death for clout. And then there was a, another girl who I just recently saw who ate with Nick. She's also giant, which I'm not gonna sit here and make fun of people for being fat. I understand that eating is a great coping mechanism, but that's where self-control comes in. I didn't just eventually one day go, Hey, I'm going to do drugs for the rest of my life. Eventually, I realized it was bad for me and I needed to stop because my life was going in a direction that I didn't like anymore. And I did that for 10 years. I was a drug addict for 10 years. So I know a thing or two about addiction, right? And as I go back to saying how the clout came into my life, when I got the views and it hit me like the dopamine hit of a heroin needle, that is a major flag to me, right? Do I want my videos to do well? Yeah. But am I going to kill myself to get those views? No. I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm not going to kill myself to get views. That's just not someone I am. If my talent is well enough established to be able to convince you to stay and keep watching my videos, that is good enough for me. If you don't like it, you don't need to stay here and watch. But if you do like it, thank you and I love you so much. But I'm not going to kill myself for you guys to watch me. That is not something I have any interest in. Eugenia, on the other hand, I think is combining two major issues. Her major issue of being a mental health case and her major issue of being addicted to clout. If you mix those two together, you are looking at an absolutely insane, perfect storm of disaster waiting to happen. And guess what? Eventually, if the girl dies or when she dies, I'm hoping she doesn't. I hope she gets the help she needs. People are going to be looking at YouTube and asking, why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you get involved? And I think that's a big problem, right? Because YouTube's already dealing, like I said, with the Sniper Wolf stuff. They're dealing with, you know, SA on their platform from creators. And, and basically, YouTubers are the worst people. Not me. I'm great. And I love you, YouTube. Please push my videos harder. Also... Stop letting this girl do this because you know what's going to happen is she's going to die and everybody's going to say, where were you, YouTube? Why didn't you step in? Why didn't you help out? And YouTube's going to say, well, you know, we don't, gotta, we, don't, we don't try to meddle in the affairs of our creators. And I think that that brings me to my next case, why she should stay on, right? So everybody knows I've made videos about this. I lean to the right. I know, I'm a big old hillbilly, you know, you know I hate the gays. I don't hate the gays. I fucking love you gay people, you know. I think that's a common misconception about conservatives because conservatives absolutely have no problem with gay people. Maybe the super religious ones do, but most conservatives do not care. They just don't want it in the schools. And most of the time, they don't care who you're fucking. It's just, that's just the facts of the matter. But going back to Eugenia, okay, I'm all over the place with this video because this stuff is just really bothering me. My final 
sum up to why she needs to be taken off before I head into why she needs to stay on is because people matter. People's lives matter, all right? The message that she's sending out that if you do drastic things for clout, you will succeed is not the message that YouTube should be pushing, right? They want original content. They want people to create, right? They want people to come here and show off their talent and make them a bunch of money, a boatload of money, right? I'm poor, so I don't have that money. I don't know what that life's like yet. But Eugenia is doing it the wrong way. And she has people like Jeffree Star in her ear telling her, you go girl. But he should be telling her, you need to eat something. You need to eat. Now, I know this isn't exactly the the normal funny EG that I've been trying to portray, but this is serious stuff. And I don't want to only do funny videos. I want to talk about things that matter and things that I'm passionate about. And I think that Eugenia is a huge problem for, for YouTube. They need to understand the risks that they're playing with, the fire that they're playing with by letting people like Nikocado and her on this platform, right? Nikocado was fine. If you go back three, four years ago, my skin, my brain, and my blood, you are what you eat. So whenever possible, eat from the earth and you will feel alive. Unless he's doing, but Nikocado is like a genius creator and I don't get his stuff. Like I think, I think for the most part, his content is like compared to like a five-year-old child i mean look at this what the hell is that right but eugenia is a different case eugenia thinks that what she's doing is fine and that's not okay someone needs to help her out lord knows that i would still be doing drugs to this day if someone didn't step in slap me in the face and say you need to wake up bro and then i accepted the help and i woke up and i decided that i wanted to make more out of my life than where it was right all right now i'm gonna make the case of why she needs to stay on because you know what you can't have ying without yang my only reasoning for thinking that she should stay on here is because people see her people see her and they see that she needs help and i think that's the might help her get the help she needs but at the same time that's really the only thing i have for her to be able to stay on because of the first amendment and because people can see and maybe they'll address the elephant in the room that needs she needs help desperately desperately needs help i'd like to know where her parents are in all of this how do they feel I'm sure they love the money that's rolling in from her videos, but at the same time, is it worth losing your daughter's life? And I hope that you'll take time to really think about that. And I ask you at home, if you watch this video, make a video of your own pointing out that this is not what YouTube should be about. This is more of like a TikTok kind of issue, right? On TikTok, anything goes, right? Except you can't talk about the Chinese government. They don't like that. Like YouTube is usually held to a higher standard when it comes to content creation. Their lead people are Mr. Beast, right? Mr. Beast is a very famous YouTuber. He seems to be an overall okay guy. I mean, he did have some drama recently about his stadium thing, but I thought that was all stupid. I don't know why the girl cared that she came in fourth and not third or whatever. That's just rich people doing rich people things. But at the same time, Eugenia has two million subscribers all right she's not talking to no one she is what we call an influencer right she influences people do you want someone like that branding youtube as their logo influencing people to take on eating disorders i don't think you do and i hope that this will wake us up just enough to maybe do better in the future and jeffree star if you're the only friend she has help the girl out I know you're a weirdo. Someone showed up at your house the other day. Yeah, get this, right? Someone showed up at his house during one of his lives, and I guess maybe he was trying to free Eugenia. Yeah, hello. Wait, Chris, I'm gonna mute. Yeah, there's someone outside of the house. Wait, call the police wait. right now. Security's going to the gate. Wait. Yep, call the police. They're trespassing. Stupid mother. <sighs> Jeffrey ended up calling the police, and the police came, and it was a whole big thing. You can go watch it in real life. But at the same time, you know, guys, like, I just want you to understand that if you do this for long enough, right? And this is my goal. Like, I, you know, you can you can look down at the subscribers. I don't have a lot, right? But I have a couple people who comment all the time and I love you. You guys know who you are. And I'm hoping that one day people will want, care more about what I have to say. And I'm not doing that to hurt people. I mean, look at these. Look at these guns, right? Look at that. That's a healthy man right there, baby healthy promote health you don't have to starve yourself guys you know work on your craft 
get better at speaking and you'll and the views will come eventually this is a like youtube's a long game it's not a short overnight success all right it's it's the long game we're playing here but with that said guys please i beg of you if, even if you've never made a video before make a video pointing out that this isn't what youtube should be representing okay if we ask the platform for something maybe they will respond i love youtube youtube's was the first platform that ever gave me a nod that said hey you might have an opportunity doing this so for that i absolutely adore it and with that said i really want to protect it and i want to protect its integrity by pointing out flaws in people that might hurt youtube okay so with that said guys my name is eg lately remember love yourself practice your craft if you really want to get clout practice practice makes perfect right and if you're suffering from any type of eating disorder please get help. Please get help because your life is valuable whether you believe it is or not. And you deserve to live a full life without people pointing and laughing at you. I know. These are words coming from a conservative. These sounds like liberal talking points. This is like honestly how we really feel a lot of time. We want the best for everyone. All right. We want the best for everybody. And I'm wearing my Philly shirt even though they lost. They lost to the Arizona Diamondbacks. I still love them. Maybe next year. With that said, guys, I'm Angie Lately. And, uh, share this message i don't ever ask you guys to share my videos but share this one because people need to hear about this girl and understand that what she's doing is no way to get clout anyway ej lately peace out